Hello, and welcome back to part 2 of my Material Player devlog. If you haven't seen part 1, I would suggest you go and check that out, although it doesn't really matter. So today, I'm going to be building out the audio importing, playing, tracking, and coloring, and all the other little details that I can't think of right now. I hope you enjoy. Now I'm just going to get to making the track bar. Here it is. So, before I go any further, I'll explain some classes that handle serialization and audio playback. There are two main abstract classes that handle most of the work. Profile handles the storage of our user preferences, playlists, and music. And Interface handles the lower level work of fetching and playing the music. Now, profiles implement play, pause, next, and previous methods. Uh, some of these, depending on the implementation, just defer off to the interface, and everything here should just be pretty self-explanatory. And interfaces simply play the audio that profiles tell them to. Both of these could probably be combined, but at this point, I'm just too lazy. So, currently there's just a file system implementation of each of these, but I've left some room to be able to add some interfaces for playing Spotify or other music services. It'll probably just act as a skin. And the file system profile just saves its data to a file on the local system formatted in JSON, while the file system interface plays audio from the local file system using the HTML5 audio element. My next step is to get the seek bar going so we can track around in the audio that's currently being played, and I also want to get importing going so we can actually start playing some sound.
So, right now I'm adding the ability to import music. And a nice feature in Electron lets me open a dialog, uh, allowing the user to select a file or folder to import from. Once I have a list of the files, I can use a super cool NPM package called Music Metadata, which scans an audio file and pulls out embedded information, like the artist, album, duration, and even the cover image, uh, which I do want to display in the future. After all my processing is done, I send it to the current profile, which then stores away the location and metadata. Okay, here it is. We just have a little help menu that pops up when you first open the editor or the player. And we can full screen it. And let's go ahead and add some music. Add these two tracks right here. And if we go into the My Music All Songs section, we see we have these two songs here. If we can we can click play, and they'll begin playing. We've got a little track bar down here where you can seek around. We can skip to the next one. Pause and play. And we can create a new playlist. And I'll create one more. And they're both empty. You can right click on a song and you'll be presented with delete and any playlists that you have. You click on one to add it and you can add it to all of these playlists. So now we both have we have both songs in each playlist. And of course we can remove them. And now we're back empty. We can also change the names of songs or playlists just by clicking on their title while in the item menu and change their name. changes throughout the entire data. All of the data changes. We can also change some settings. So we can change things like the color to any color we want. Well, not any color, but all of the preset colors. We can also change the theme from dark to light. However, this little bar right here doesn't look too great, so we can change that as well. Using the skin, we'll change this to flat. And now it's flat. Now flat doesn't change anything except for this right now, but eventually it might change these little shadows here, and maybe these little pills. And when the song ends, it just moves to the next one, and it's over. Now, of course, if we exit out and start back up, all of our data saves just as it was. And we can continue right where we left off. And that's about it. You can import folders. The help menu doesn't work yet. And settings is fairly simple. Now that's going to do it for this player so far. I do have plans to add, as I said, Spotify integration in the near future. But I also want to add some more audio settings like balancing and give it some other cooler features. If you want to play around with it, you can grab a development copy from GitHub in the description and hack it up all you want. Or, if you just want a quick demo, I have some prepackaged executables for Windows, Mac, and Linux as well. I hope you enjoyed this series so far. 
and if you're interested in seeing more, you can get notified when by simply clicking the subscribe button. It helps a lot. I would love to hear any thoughts on anything, although I do know my code is a mess. Thanks for watching.